Mars called In the Wide Open Air. And uh, it's a brand new one inspired by Rebbe Nachman's Nature's Blessing that we should all go out. It's a little easier in Florida being 75 degrees, but all go outside every day and just experience, <clears throat> let our souls kind of wander with the, uh, the great spirit out in the wild. And uh, these are two songs of nature. And I'll just remind everyone to just <coughs> stay muted. I know sometimes it's hard to check and see. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll hopefully get to unmute at some point too and be able to talk. So some songs first. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and you shall follow Miriam's path. Oh Lord, show me the way. Oh sisters, let's go. into your community today and we're really really excited to be sharing our music with you a lot of our music is um, about nature and being grateful for this beautiful world that we live in and um, this next song is another song about nature <laughs> yeah it is indeed and this one is uh, actually on our last 
Our most recent recording that's out to date, it's called Beneath the Open Sky, and we're going to do a few songs today from that one, and also some brand new ones on our upcoming album. Uh, but this one is called A Mighty Roar, and it's a, um, it's a, it's a bluegrass song. You know, we're, we're a bluegrass band, and we draw influence from kind of all things Americana musically, and um, this song is inspired by our one of our beautiful 150 psalms. This is based on Yismachu HaShemayim, and it's kind of our you know, drash, so to speak, like our kind of poetic version of telling this story of Yismachu HaShemayim. And um, that psalm, you know, let the skies rejoice, let the earth bound and like dance, and let the, um, the, the mountains, you know, leap and let the, you know, ocean roar. All these images of nature coming to life, we really respond to. And we wrote this song about, as human beings, sometimes being at the mercy of, of uh, the natural world and the elements. And we live in, obviously, the days of a pandemic, and we have to do this online. And um, there are things that are out of our control, but nevertheless, we can find so many opportunities in every day to look at silver linings and kind of still howl at the moon and be free in our hearts. It's one of the gifts we have as being mighty human beings. And this song is about that, just kind of being true to ourselves and holding each other by the hand and kind of running with these times that we live in. A Mighty Roar. Sing a new 
So nice to see all of your faces. I'm waving to all of you. Hi. Um, and honestly, as musicians who, um, you know, we're usually touring the country and internationally. And when this pandemic, ha you know, when this happened, we had, you know, I think 60 or 70 shows cancel. And it was like, you know, and we all went through this shocking experience together. Um, but again, you know, being able to see your faces right now is so awesome and wonderful. And we even just to get a little bit of a clapping as musicians, just to get that feedback and love is just, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, friends. Um, so we want to, you know, this is really live. Like we're all here in this moment right now. And I think that's so amazing that we can do this. So we do really want to encourage if anybody has any questions they want to ask us or just comments or anything, please feel free to put that in the chat. Um, and Mark or Alana or Judy can read us um, if there's questions that come in. You know, we just want to really feel connected to all of you and that we are having this moment together right now, which we are. Um, so please just feel free to put a question in the chat anytime and we'll, you know, in between songs we can chat and hang out a little and bit. And we know it's not conventional in a concert to, to necessarily ask <laughs> questions in the middle of it. So it might feel a little weird, but if we were with you in person, many of you who know us already, we would be... You know, we would do our concert, but afterwards we'd get to hang out and we'd get to talk and give hugs and just be together. So that's, we wanted to simulate all of it in one Zoom experience <laughs> if it's possible. So don't be shy if you want, ask questions. We've got a lot of music. We'll just keep playing either way. But, um, you know, we just, we wanted to hopefully be able to unmute folks and just be able to, again, just be that one community. So, awesome. Uh, but we'll keep going with another one for now. Okay. Uh, this is, this is a, another medley we've been enjoying kind of putting together. Um, some of these medleys, pairings of songs for these uh, Zoom shows, and this is by this is how the band started. Just Donnie and I, <coughs> one instrument, two voices, and trying to come up with, uh, you know, this is how we write the songs. Just us in our home here, and um, you know, this is just a really kind of special way for us to bring the music to you guys. And this is another little medley that we don't always do live with the band, um, but it's one. It's it's an old old song that is a uh, kind of. It's really a song that's universal, but it also draws from the gospel uh, tradition. A lot of gospel choirs have sang this song, Wayfaring Stranger. Um, but it's one that is Old Testament. It's, it's you know, open for all of us. And uh, Wayfaring Stranger, we're going to pair with one of our, another beautiful psalm, Psalm 121. This is, a, it's a song about mountains and a song about looking for, for answers and looking for hope. And, um, you know, yet one more song about nature. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, these... Um, the sound of, of bluegrass to us, and, and you'll hear, I'm going to play a little banjo improv thing in the beginning of this, and the, the, we try to let the instrument speak more than my words and the words of the song, just to kind of evoke the sound of mountains, the sound of the air, and uh, we find a lot of comfort in that. So hope you enjoy this next medley. <coughs>
rumbling through this world of woe. There'll be no sickness, toil, or danger in this bright world to which I go. to know how many instruments you play um a lot I could, well i could probably count them there's a mandolin up there but it's like way out of tune needs new strings next time i'll play mandolin i also play the dobro which is like a slide guitar uh like kind of like a lap steel but res resophonic guitar my theory is that whatever instrument he gets near he can start to play that's just i'm sorry well, that's, that's my experience with my husband but he'll he'll probably say something else but <laughs> well, really plays, it's yeah. really fun to play a lot of instruments. It's really challenging to play a lot of them well. 
And, uh, and I, I, so I've really stuck to just trying to, at least in these days, um, trying to hone my craft on guitar and banjo, which is more than enough. Usually people just stick to one if they're good at one. So I'm, I'm already biting off more than I can really chew, but it's fun to play both and you can do different things. And actually I started learning both instruments out of necessity because Donnie and I, when we started this music, even before it was called Nefesh Mountain, uh, we used to just run our, roam around the country with a guitar and, and a banjo. And even before the banjo, I, um, before I learned how to play it, I knew that we needed to start playing music with banjo in it. I didn't know any banjo players here in North, North Jersey. And so I just was like, I'll play all the banjo parts. So I had kind of learned it out of necessity. And um, over the years, I just fallen more and more in love with, uh, with the banjo. And our dog's name is also named Banjo, by the way, who's looking at me <clears throat> every time I say Banjo. He's like, so I won't say it anymore, otherwise barking will ensue. And that actually leads nicely into our next question. Barbara Hales is asking, how long have you been playing the banjo? How did you, and how did you come up with the name Nefesh Mountain? I've been playing the banjo for about seven years. I've been playing guitar way longer, but they both are, are loves of mine. And uh, why don't you answer the Nefesh Mountain? So just briefly, the, the whole, this Nefesh Mountain thing happened when Eric and I fell in love. It's like a love story. And so, we didn't plan it. It wasn't something we like calculated. We just, as we were falling in love, we just started to write this music. And we both love bluegrass and old time folk roots music. And every time we sat down to write this music, write, to write together, this just came pouring out of our hearts. <clears throat> so it's a really a love, it's a love story. Um, and nefesh means soul in Hebrew. And um, you know, what we're trying to do with this music is, um, is just sing such honest from our hearts and, um, and touch, Hopefully we'll touch you in some way. Hopefully, you know, we want to touch your souls a little bit and be honest with ourselves and with this music. So the word nefesh just meant a lot to us. And mountain, you know, um, what's cool about bluegrass music and Judaism is that there's something, um, there's this commonality, which is there's a celebration of the mountains and of nature um, in both. And so this, this mountain idea was something that we really wanted to, you know, and there's so many um, beautiful, important mountains in, in our Jewish history. Um, and, you know, and the idea that, you know, Nefesh Mountain is this, we sort of have this dream that Nefesh Mountain is this place where, um, you know, everybody is included and it's diversity uh, for everybody's, you know, it's all about diversity and love and inclusion. And so in our dream land of Nefesh Mountain, um, you know, everyone gets to just be exactly who they are and be embraced for that, so. Well, because the truth is, is, is that what's beneath what Donnie is saying is that, you know, bluegrass music in its history has never really been Jewish. And it's been, um, you know, it, it, I mentioned it before, but the roots of bluegrass and really all of American music kind of started as, as its function in the church. Um, almost all of it is either for dances or like very much involved in the church, which is a beautiful, amazing part of music and its function and it's a spiritual form. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, us as Jews, we've been living in this country since the 1600s. And um, I think this is our offering. Nefesh Mountain is almost like we had to build this world because we're Americans and we're Jewish. We are Jewish Americans. And these are two kind of sides of ourselves that we feel really proud about. So we, um, you know, just like it was kind of necessary for me to learn the banjo, I was like, out of necessity, I just taught it to myself over the years. It, it was the same, we kind of had to build these songs and build this world to live in for our family and, and to offer everybody that we can all feel really comfortable being so unapologetically proud to be American and the, the, the you know, American musical forms and proud to be Jewish at the same time. And that's where I think we just, that's where Nefesh Mountain came from too, is just the, the band name, just we had to build this world for ourselves that we're still, every song we write is like, <clears throat> we're uncovering another little oh, there's a little bit more of the woods and there's a little bit more of the mountains and more of the stream and the river. And um, I'm also not meaning to, but I'm setting up the next tune. Uh, you want to take it? Yeah, over? I'll tell I'll tell them about the next one. So we're going to share with you now a brand new song that is going to be on our next album, which is coming out soon. It was supposed to come out before COVID and then it got delayed, but it's coming out soon. And um, it's, it's actually a weird thing because to me, this song is exactly about what we're doing right now. It's about the experience that we're having this very moment, which is being together when we can't be together. Um, 
and I'm looking at all of you and, and, and no pressure to put your videos on, but I do love that I can see faces. And so I'm looking at all of you and, and this song is about looking into each other's eyes and seeing each other and knowing that, you know, especially right now, it just feels like so many people just are not on the same page with so many different issues, you know, in this country and in the world, you know, we're, there's a lot of divide and in, in a lot of ways. But the fact of the matter is no matter where you stand and any issues that are going on around us, you know, we're all people. We all want good lives. We all are trying our best. And the fact is we have to coexist together on this mountain, on this earth, on this planet together. And that's what the song is. It's just looking into each other's eyes and remembering that we all are belong here together and to love each other through it all. So the song is called Somewhere on This Mountain. It's in my nature to push myself up to a place where it's beautiful, but the air is far too thin. And since my good intentions can so often be misplaced, I just wind up off the trail yet again. But when 
I see myself through the mirror of your eyes. And hear the canyons in your voice. I can feel all the versions of myself all inside. And so my scattered pieces are rejoined. So I don't mind the days of all the love you find. When I'm lost among the mist and the trees. When I lie awake under the Appreciate that. So maybe we'll do another song and then we'll see if there's any more questions. Um, Somebody said you guys sound great and are you doing this full time and do you ever do live South Florida gigs? Thank you. Um, and yes, we when we are when we're on the road, this is our full time job. We have, you know, this is our luckily we're, we're doing many, many Zoom concerts now that we're home and not touring. But when we are touring, we are all over the country and the world. And absolutely, we come to South Florida. I have a grandmother who lives in Fort Lauderdale. I really love coming there. And um, we've I, played I, dozens we've of been times there many, in we've South been, Florida. And we would love to come visit you in person someday. Yeah. And uh, we absolutely will be back. And I think we're actually going to be, we actually have plans to be in Boca. Possibly. Possibly in March. Anyway, we'll be in your neck of the woods, absolutely, and hopefully we'll be able to, to catch up with you guys. I see you, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> we have friends. Hi, Susan. Hi. Um, but we're going to share with you another song. And yeah. this song is a, a brand new song. It's called Where Aware. And it's, um, for us, it was us asking, we're asking sort of the universe, like, and sort of this world where did all of the beauty go you know when it started to feel very um dark in this country and in the world we were wondering to ourselves like where did the where did the innocence go where is the where is the sweetness and the kindness in the world and um and so we wrote this little kind of rhyme song about maybe some places where these things may be yeah, it's kind of a riddle song. it's like a riddle song yeah, yeah. Is inspired by kind of the old, in, in case riddle song doesn't necessarily mean anything, it, it kind of like a uh, these old Irish, English uh, kind of troubadour tunes, these old minstrel songs, and um, you know we the Irish world were heavily influenced by, it, and it makes its way, of course, into the Americana world as well because of the the fiddle traditions and all that, all the fiddle tunes you learn as a guitarist or banjo player or fiddler, come a lot of them come from the Scots Irish tradition, and. Uh, and this is one that to me feels very, you know, as if we were on the coast of, uh, of Ireland. And um, the, the chorus of this one, we invite you to sing along. It's kind of a mashup of actually in, in the Celtic world, there's something called lilting, which for us in the Jewish world is the same as our nigun or nigunim, right? The uh, yadadai. So we kind of did a little crossover with uh, didledums and yadadais for a little kind of Celtic Eastern Euro mashup thing. I hope you enjoy this one. It's called Where Oh Where. <clears throat> where, oh, where are the sweetest songs of Miriam and her daughters? They were sung beside the seas and tides. So still must be out on the waters, still on the waters. Where, oh, where is the wisdom sought by the many before us? She was there inside the tree of life, 
so it still must reside in the forest. Still in the have any any questions in the uh in the chat i mean we're down to keep going got more tunes don't see any questions right now okay so should so, we tell them yeah we have some very so well now that you're already our mishpucha and um we have some well we have some exciting things happening in nefesh mountain very exciting in our personal lives which is that i we are having a little baby Nefesh Mountain. <laughs> so <laughs> we're so excited. A Nefesh it's, Hill, I've been told. Oh, right. Um, and so I'm sitting here with this big belly. And if I seem a little, oh, it's just because that's going on. And we're just, you know, it's, a, it's such a, it's a major blessing for us. We've, um, it's a dream come true. So we're very excited. Yeah. And I'm definitely going to get weepy um, because Eric just told me that he wanted to share. So, okay. <laughs> you'll get me like, you want me to? Right. Yes. Okay. Go, go. Um, so we've been already writing some songs for this little one, and um, there, there are also songs we've been writing during during COVID and while we're waiting. You're already how many months along? Right? Six. Six months. So like we've been writing all these tunes, and I've been coming up with little fiddle tunes and uh, of course. Um, but we're gonna. Would you guys want to hear a little song that we I've already written for the little little one? We're gonna do a long medley, or we're gonna start. These are kind of more in the Irish vein and kind of Americana spirit. An old song by Stephen Foster we're going to start with. Then we're going to move to our beloved, this is an old one for us, Hine Matov, brothers and sisters. Uh, the idea, you know, that we're all here together and we are certainly grateful for it. And in the middle of it all, I'm going to play this little tune that's called Mobile Song. And uh, it's one that we'll see if we want to, you either die or see how you feel um, when we get there, if she's not crying. Um, but it's one that we're going to be... Uh, Playing for the little well, baby. I have to tell you that it's a girl, by the way. Yeah, we're having a girl, and you know, Eric is. Every time I come downstairs, it's it, you know, if it's late, you know, Eric is sitting in the, in the studio. He, he 
You're really writing a lot of music for the little girl. This is one that he just shared with me. It's not going to come out for a while, so this is no. Just, it's just a little in, piece of it. Indulge us. We're, so this is this is exciting. <laughs> an old Stephen Foster song you may know, Hine Matov, and Mobile song. You'll hear the Mobile song for the little one. And just if everyone could just make sure they're muted, because I think I hear a little, a little scratching. There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. And please sing along if you know the words to this one. He named it. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sup sorrow with the poor. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. It's the song inside of the weary. Hard times, hard times come again no more. Many days you have lingered around my Oh, hard times come again no more. Oh, hard times come again no
We'll sing out this song for years to come in a story without an end. For how good it is to be a bum. Coming to a close, we have one more song before we say goodbye. And um, we want to give you a present before we do this last song um, because it's. And here's the present. So, we, as, as we said, we can't stay and hang out with you guys and sort of schmooze and do the regular kind of get to know everybody thing, but we can do one thing, which is give you something to leave you with something before we say goodbye and get off this call, this concert. Um, we have our music. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna give everybody a little present and maybe someone can put this in the chat. Um, if you put this link, nefeshmountain.com slash open sky album, open sky album. And if you go to that web, that link, it is a free digital download of our last album, Beneath the Open Sky, which has a lot of the songs that we sang tonight, today. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a private link. Please don't share this with anybody else because most people are paying for this and we wanted to offer this to you as a present, um, as a thank you to Alana and to Mark and to Judy and to everyone at the synagogue for inviting us today. So thank you, thank you. Please, um, hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy the music and download it. Um, we're going to end with one last song about peace and love. And maybe you'll join us in singing along. Unless there was any last questions before we end, before we do our final song. Was there anything at the end before we say goodbye? Do we have any other ones? We have one last question. Okay. Are you are you ever in the LA area? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We, uh, that was one of our last shows. We actually played a big show at UCLA and uh back in like early march 2020 one of the last shows i remember playing so yeah. yes we do come to la quite a bit thank um, you yeah and should we do one last little medley just to bring it on home what do you think okay so we're gonna squeeze two into one everyone's still good y'all with us i'm looking at you guys thanks for being here we're gonna we're gonna do a um one more medley these are both ours our songs um this is uh, our version of Lador Vador that we call On and On. And it was a song that I originally wrote for my grandparents uh, when they passed, but we had, a, we had a rough year where like Donnie and I both lost two sets of, of grandparents and it was like, you know, none of us are immune to the ways of the world, right? And, uh, and I kind of came back to the idea of Lador Vador from generation to generation. And we've been singing this with every community ever since. And we just, it, this goes out even, even though we wrote it for our families, this is more for all of us, for all of us to share. And these are just songs of, of peace and love and a little bit of hope. And uh, we hope you guys stay well and healthy and um, a little two more for you. Thanks for being here, everybody. <clears throat>
In every portrait there is a truth In every tale and all the days That came before us There is the wind upon our sails There is a forest in every father As he stands amidst the wild There is a mountain in every mother The sturdy force of heart
Johnny and Eric, I have to tell you that the chat is overflowing with um, sentiments of love and appreciation for this afternoon. We cannot thank you enough. What a treat this has been um, you, for bringing Mike. your beautiful sounds to our Zoom platform. Um, we can't thank you enough. We look forward to having you come in person next year. That, that's for sure. And good luck with the baby and... Well, well, hopefully, God future willing, future. you guys will all get to meet her because she's coming on the road with us because yeah, this is what mommy perfect. and daddy do for a living. So <laughs> it's going to be a little a little traveler girl. So we really can't mm -hmm. wait for you all to meet her, God willing. And um, yeah. And, and, and we also have a, a brand new album that's coming out probably in late May. Quite honestly, if the album's probably going to come out the same day the baby does. We're, we're, <laughs> we, we've got like a simultaneous, um, we're, we've been joking. It's like we have a baby al a baby release date and an album due date. We don't know which one is I'm which at this point. So, um, but the album is, we're very, it's been a long time coming and it's called Songs for the Sparrows. And uh, it's just, it's a, another labor of love from us. It's our third full length album and we're excited to get it out there into the world. So stay in touch. We've got new videos and new music coming out soon. Some become of the ones you heard today. And become our friend on Facebook and stay, really stay connected to us. We love you. We're so grateful for each and every one of you. You, you, you really have no idea how much this means to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you. Thank you for supporting us. Yeah. You bet. And I want to invite everyone back to our next events at Temple Beth Am and everybody stay well. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Love you guys. Bye, Susan.